Hey, hey everybody. This is a quick video on how to use the tilt ball switch from your kit. It exists in this little bag and it is this one, the cylindrical guy here that only has two legs coming out of it. When you shake it, it rattles. So the good news is this is a really simple circuit. How this little tilt ball sensor works is it is turned on in its on state when it's sitting upright and then when it's upside down a little ball kind of falls to the to the bottom end of this black um, tube and it's no longer connected and it goes into its off state so it's essentially the same thing as a button or it really is a switch except the mechanism which turns it on and off really is about whether it tilts more than 90 degrees sort of gravity based so all you have to do is connect one leg uh, of the tilt ball switch to any of your digital pins. Here I'm choosing pin seven. And the other leg, as shown through the black wire, we're just connecting to ground, GND. Okay, and guess what? The code looks like this. Okay, pin mode seven is gonna be an input pin. And because we're not using any resistors here, we are gonna say input underscore pull up. Okay, that's for the what's showing as the red pin in either of the two legs of your tilt sensor. The other leg goes to ground. And for this example, we're also gonna say pin mode for pin 13. Pin 13 turns out to have a built-in LED on your Arduino Uno. By the way, that LED is the one that's turned yellow here and it has a little capital L there. So what the code is doing is it's saying, all right, now that we know pin seven is a listening pin and pin 13 is the LED output pin, in our void loop, we're simply gonna perpetually say, if we read into pin seven, if it's in its on state, or if it's set to zero, then turn the LED on here. But if we read in pin seven and it's not hearing a zero, it's giving a one instead, then it's gonna turn the LED off. And that's what digital write 13 pin, pin 13 low does. So, the default setting here, if we look at this, the LED's turned on, that tells us that this is giving us zeros all the time, which for input pull-up means that it's in its on state. Now, as soon as I tilt this upside down, yellow LED turns off. So the feedback mechanism is just that yellow LED on the left, but the gesture is just whether something tips over or not, okay? So as you can see, very easy to build. If it were built into a rattle, you could see it's turning on and off, etc. So there we go, simple as that.